hi everyone welcome back to life with technologies channel and thank you for watching so we've been going through iperan training series where we have been dealing with igp configuration and in our today's part six we'll be looking on how to close access rings on aggregation nodes so if you check our topology we have two access rings and one aggregation ring so we have access ring one which has isis process 20 configured and then we have access ring two which has isis process 30 configured so we've segmented our network into the access rings and the aggregation rings then the access rings are assigned different isis process from the one that is uh, running on aggregation so with this setup we realize that uh, we have a point of disconnect and that is between SG01 and SG02 or even between SG04 and SG03 or the SGs that are terminating the access rings. So when we are configuring the access ring 1, we only enable access SIS between SG01 and CSG01, then CSG01 and CSG02, CSG02 and CSG03, then back from CSG3 to SG02. But we did not configure access SIS process between SG01 and SG02. So we have a point of disconnect. Our IP run ring is not fully complete. It is, uh, there is a point of disconnect on the ring. Similarly, on uh, access ring 2, we have the same scenario. We did not configure any access SIS process 30 between SG03 and SG04. So we have points of disconnect for the access rings. And if we were to, so if we check on, on SG01, I display SIS peer. We realize we have SIS 20 is only going to csg01 similarly on sg2 if i display isis peer we only have isis 20 to csg03 so we don't have access isis between the two and this one may lead into some issues for example if i shut down this interface between sg01 and csg01 this is interface 002 i shut down this interface no, uh, let me not shut it down first. We need to check the routing table. Big zero slash zero slash two. I will unshut it down first. Then on CSG01, we check the IP routing table of CSG01. We realize we have 4.4.4, .4, which is the loopback zero of SG01. And it's pointing on the interconnected interface. So what if we shut down this interface? I shut down the interface. So we have lost connectivity between CSG01 and SG01. When I recheck the routing table, you realize we have lost the IP address of 4.4.4.4. But remember, many times we have also BGP running in this network we have the peering based on loopback IPs. So when we lose that interface, we are also losing the BGP peering between CSG01 and, I mean all the CSGs in the network, we lose BGP peering to SG01. So we need to have a mechanism in which when we lose an interface, we are not losing the BGP peering between these devices. So what we need to do is we need to extend the access ISIS process between the aggregation nodes. We configure ISIS 20 on the interlink between SG01 and SG02. So the setup will be like this. We will now have a complete access ring 1 with ISIS 20 running all the way from the SG01 to SG02 back to CSG01 and then SG01. Similarly, in the access ring 2, we'll have a similar setup. So, in case there is a failure, there is a link failure in any of these uh, links, we'll end up not losing the, the route to either of the SGs. This one, we normally do it with a 
sub-interfaces. So we'll configure a sub-interface between the two. And then on this sub-interface, we'll enable ISIS process 20 just to ensure that it's running. Many times we do this implementation with a higher cost. So you configure an interlink between the two SGs, you enable ISIS, but then you assign a higher cost so that the traffic flow will not change. The traffic should flow the way it was flowing before. So what we'll do on SG01, I will configure sub-interface 20, and then I assign IP and enable SIS process 20. So I will start by uncharting this interface. And then I configure my access ISIS process on this interface. I do the same on SG02. Not sure whether I had already configured, but we will just run the same commands. So I configure access ISIS on SG02. Now, if I display ISIS PR, not yet let me check the configurations this is 11 okay I have used the same IP so I need to change this one to 10 and even the description I didn't change it this one should be to R2 So because we were using the same IP, the ISIS will not come up. Let's just see if we can be able to see the error. If I do display ISIS error, do we have the duplicate IP? ISIS 20 now, so I'll just do the configuration. ISIS error takes some time to populate but I'll just run the script here so that we change this IP so if I do display ISIS PR we now have two ISIS processes for we had we now have ISIS two ISIS adjacent these on ISIS 20 on SG01 and same same for ISIS PR we have two pairings for to adjacent this for ISIS process 20. With this in place, now if we were to lose interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 2, I shut down this interface. We should be having the same routes, routing table. Oh, let me display IP routing table. We should be having 4.4 still available in our routing table. And you can see we still have 4.4 still in our routing table. So we have not lost this route as opposed to when we didn't have ISIS process running between the two SGs or the two aggregation nodes. So this is how easy it is to implement ring closure on the aggregation nodes. You just need to specify sub interfaces on the ring, on the two nodes, and then on the interface connecting the two nodes and then you assign an IP address as usual, you enable ISIS and then sometimes it's recommended that you configure a higher cost on the interlink, on the link that is closing the ISIS between the two aggregation. So just a recap, this, this will be the target topology. Now we have access ISIS process 20 running between the SGs and closing the ring on access ISIS 20. Similarly, on these other access ISIS process 30, we'll have a similar setup and we close our ring on SG03 and SG04. So now we have an end-to-end. -end. We have a complete ring for the access rings. And the configurations are very simple. You just need to configure sub-interface on the interlink and then you assign an IP address and you enable the access ISIS process. So that is how you can implement it and 
thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos thank you